Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you coming back. I've had some technical difficulties the last couple of days and couldn't get a video out, but I have a, a good one today. I am going to show you how to make this cute pumpkin container from dollar store items. So if you want to see how it's made, stay tuned. First, I started with these cute little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. They had this selection as well, but this has the ridges on the bottom so it wouldn't sit flat for what I wanted to do. So I like the flatness of the other ones. So step one is to remove all of the stuff that they put on here to make it look cute. This bow's just hot glued on. Or just needs a snip. The leaf really gave me a run for my money. On this one in particular, I had to do a lot of pulling and bending and finally got it. Don't worry about where the hot glue was on the top, that'll be covered up. Next thing is this cute little pumpkin bucket or basket or I'm not sure what it is, but it's cardboard and it's a pumpkin. <laughs> Basically, you just take the string out and give it to your cat to play with because mine was waiting for it. You won't see this front part, unfortunately, you'll only see the side. But we don't want it to look like a pumpkin, so I'm going to paint it black with my Apple Barrel black colored acrylic paint. Now, even though I was painting this on kind of thick, it looks like it's going to need a second coat. While we're waiting for that to dry, we will get started on our pumpkins. I liked to pick a theme that I thought would be cute together with two different pieces of paper. I like the orange pop of color on this paper. So what you're going to be doing is creating a stencil by turning your paper upside down and tracing the outline of the pumpkin onto the paper. I got this paper on sale at Hobby Lobby. It was 25 cents each. When they have their sales, I like to stock up on papers that I can use in my crafts. So that worked out perfectly, except I don't like the stem being green. So I decided I am going to paint the stem black. While I was deciding I was painting the stem black, I thought that maybe I should paint the back black as well so I don't get to see the brown that's on the back of the pumpkin. I pre-painted the other pumpkin already, so it's ready to go. I just need to cut its paper still.
Okay, now everything is painted the way I like it. And now I have to get back to my second coat on my pumpkin. I was gonna paint just a strip of black on the inside over the orange so you didn't see it as vibrantly. And then I decided that I wasn't really sure if I liked the green showing either. So I did decide later on to paint the whole inside of the pumpkin. Okay, while that is drying again, I will cut out my second piece of paper for my pumpkin. Now, if you have a piece of paper that has stripes on it, don't forget to keep in mind which way the stripes will be going whenever you do have your stencil cut out. I liked the idea of my um, boards going side to side instead of up and down on this particular pumpkin. I still had to trim this piece of paper down to get it to fit a little bit better. Even with the stencil, it still ended up being a little bit big. I'm applying the paper to the board with a homemade Mod Podge that I made. Um, it's just eight ounces of Elmer's glue to four ounces of water. So if you don't have Mod Podge at home, you can make it yourself. I'm just making sure to get around the edges of the paper really good before I apply it to my, bo my board. After applying the paper to the board, there's still some bubbles, so I'm just squeegeeing out anything that I see with my handy dandy scraper that I got from Hobby Lobby. If you don't have a scraper like this, you can always use a credit card or a rolling pin or the back of your brush or anything that you have that you can try to push those bubbles out. Because there was so much hangover from the paper, I decided to take my X-Acto knife and try to cut those edges off. All right, it's done. And the X-Acto knife left ugly paper fringe grossness. 
all around the edges. So I decided instead to get sandpaper and just sand off the edges so it wouldn't leave this nasty rough edging that the X-Acto knife left. This sandpaper worked awesomely, and it was quite satisfying to see it work as well as it did and to pull off the little pieces because you were sanding it right off. If the glue was dry a little bit better, it probably would have been easier, but I'm impatient and it's hard for me to wait for things to dry, so I just did it while it was wet, but it worked out magnificently. All right, it is time to attach the pieces. So I used this hot glue gun and I put a generous amount of glue on the pumpkin face and then flipped it over and applied it to my wooden pumpkin pieces and just pressed it from the inside. That way it would stick nice and sturdy. Okay, now it is time for embellishing. These ribbons came from the Dollar Store, I'm sorry, from Dollar Tree. The leaves came from Dollar Tree. And of course this metal leaf came originally on the pumpkin whenever we first started. These leaves um, come in a package of several different leaves so you can choose the colors depending on which papers you choose. I also decided to put a little bit of moss on the bottom and hot glue in some flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And here is the final product. I really think this turned out super cute. And knowing that I got it all at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General, I probably spent about $3 on this project. I hope you guys really enjoy and I hope you guys can make your own from my suggestion. Thanks for watching.